Hello Internet, welcome back to the garden. In my first ghost pepper video, I noticed some of the peppers in the background were uh, a bit larger than the ripe pepper that I ate uh, and thought that those would be a little more intense uh, when, they, when they fully ripen. Uh, today, about a week later, uh, one of them has ripened. And if you notice, it's about the same size and shape as that first pepper. So it looks like what happens, uh, which more experienced pepper farmers might already know, but I did not, is that as the peppers ripen, they shrink or contract and kind of uh, concentrate their, their juices. Um, anyway, so this is another beautiful ghost pepper from my ghost pepper plant uh, grown at the community garden at work. Um, see my previous video for a quick tour of that. I'm um, going to try to hold it up for the camera so you can see it. I hope that it focuses. Uh, it's got some, some nice wrinkling going on, um, some little, uh, so some bumps in the surface. I don't know what the pepper jargon is for that, but it's a gorgeous looking pepper in my opinion. So I, again, am going to rinse it in a cup of water, uh, bite the tip and um, try to describe the flavor and then eat this baby and find out that's a terrible thing to say <laughs> gonna eat this pepper and uh, try to keep filming through through the process and let you know how it goes and so without further ado I'm just gonna dunk it in this cup of water it is shake it off I'm sure that produced some fun effects anyway so it's got some floral characteristics. It, the first bite was almost a little chemically, um, kind of like uh, acetone or a sharp uh, like methanol, if you're familiar with lab work. Um, it's definitely a pungent flavor. The tip is the least spicy part and I can't detect any heat from it at all, um, just like the last one. Um, all right, we're gonna stop staring at it and eat it. Sun came off. It's already hot. Um, not a whole lot of flavor. The heat is building already. Um, chewing and chewing and chewing. I have heard that it's better to fight the battle in your mouth than anyway. Um, <coughs> so this one. <coughs> This one seems less flavorful than the first, and maybe a little hotter, so <clears throat> I don't know if this is a little bit less ripe than the first one, or if it's competition between several different fruits growing at the same time, <clears throat> or partially due to the heat wave we just had. It was <clears throat> almost 100 degrees for several days last week. <coughs> that is a hot pep. <clears throat> okay. Burning is in my throat again. Um, hiccuping a little bit. Don't feel nauseated or queasy. Um, Either I'm already getting a sunburn, or my face has turned red. Probably it's the latter. Um, <laughs> gonna try some water, even though I know it won't help. <clears throat> it feels cool at first, which is nice. Why did I do this? Oh. oh. There's a piece of it stuck between my teeth. That is terrible. So when the water is in my mouth, I think it tricks my mouth into thinking that it's not on fire anymore. But then... <coughs> This is stupid. Oh. 
Ugh. That hurts. I don't know why anybody would do this. Let alone two times. Ugh. Well, all right, so last time I cut the camera out and missed some of this misery. So I wanted to capture it, but it is not fun. Oh, I'm gonna run out of water pretty soon, which is terrifying. Oh. It is uh, <clears throat> hard to talk. Wow. Really hot, <laughs> excruciating burning in the back of my throat. Uh, it is unpleasant. My nose is running. I'm sweating. My face, my, the back of my neck, the back of my head is soaked. Um, eyes are watering. <sighs> <sighs> The heat might be subsiding, or it's just because I'm not talking as much. Oh yeah, it's still there. Oh, that is not fun. This is painful and makes it hard to painful to breathe. My tongue is a little bit warm. Um, the back of my throat is warm. I'm trying to figure out if there are different ways to hold my head. <laughs> so, <laughs> there's different stresses on my neck to make it not nope it all hurts ah uh, should have brought ice cream that's the only thing that seems to really help this water so the temperature temporarily relieves the effects but it is very hot and very uncomfortable <laughs> So now, oh, there's still a piece stuck in my tooth, between my teeth. That is very unfortunate. Oh. Looking around, because I'm in a garden, see what I have. I think I see a ripe tomato. I'm going to give it a try, because I'll take anything. Well, not as ripe as it looked from over here, but, oh, mm. It tastes good. It does nothing for the heat though. Tomato doesn't work. Sorry. Oh, thank you, tomato. I appreciate your sacrifice. Oh, that's very hot. <sighs> 